<laughs> Three times I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, you're really lucky today. <laughs> what, what do you think of Minton today? There's a lot of pressure, you know, big spot like for him. What stood out about his game? Yeah, I mean, I think he competed really well, and I mean, one puck's back, and I mean, obviously strong in the circle, uh, making some really good plays out there. Um, I thought he's had a, or I think he's had a great camp. So I mean, he he competed hard the entire way. You played in the NHL at 19. You remember, it was a while ago now. Like, what was that like? What stood out? Uh, I don't remember it's so old now. No, but I mean, I think it was, uh, I mean, everybody's uh, better, you know, stronger, faster. It's, uh, and obviously it's a dream to be on that stage and, and play every night. And uh, I mean, he's done a really good job against the best players. Making the team's, team's effort tonight, really, just, you know, they had a lot of AHL guys. And yeah, I, I think, uh, I mean, they competed well. We, I think we kind of stepped up our game during the third period, and that's kind of how we uh, want to play. And I think we finished uh, preseason strong in that sense to uh, bring that uh, third period into the, into the regular season. Still have some things to finish off, you think, before you got one game to go, but you know, details you can work on before uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, of course. I mean, touch up details. Uh, I mean, that's up to Sheldon what that is. I don't know what that's going to be exactly, but um, yeah, we have a couple of days to practice and get ready for the season. Sheldon says you're going to get some more PK time this year. Or what's your sense of, of that? You got obviously look last year, like how that part of your game is developing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I love being on the PK. I think. Uh, I mean, obviously just trying to learn from uh, from our PK guys and, uh, I mean, be ready when Sheldon uh, asked me to go out there. You slid back to the, to the wing tonight, obviously. What, how do you feel you know, sort of back where you belong or how do you sort of feel about how that moves back and forth? Yeah, I, I think uh, me and John have obviously had a great chemistry in times we've been playing together, so I think that's fun. And uh, I mean, adding Max out there, I think we have a great line together. So, But, uh, I mean, I'm ready to play wherever, uh, wherever Sheldon wants me to play. I thought it went well for myself. Uh, it was good to come out with the win there at the end, and uh, I think uh, we had a good forecheck our line. We spent a lot of time in, in their end creating down low and getting pucks to the words the net, so I think it went pretty good for us. Sheldon mentioned it was going to feel different probably for you with this lineup, uh, playing with all the NHLers. Like, how did that change maybe the dynamic from your perspective, if at all? Yeah, I, I didn't think it changed too much. Um, just trying to do as much as I can every shift and uh, felt, felt pretty similar. Was it cool at all to see the, the players you're out with on the ice and changing for and playing with tonight? Yeah, we've uh, you know the, the starstruck factor is a little bit gone after practicing with them for a few weeks here, but uh, still super cool to be out there with them on this big rink with all the fans. What's this entire experience been like for you? Nothing but a ton of fun, honestly, and uh, I've loved every every minute of it so far. What uh, is your focus now over the next few days? came into this camp maybe not expecting this and now it's it's kind of right there how would you describe kind of what what the next few days would be like yeah um, get some good rest tonight go have a good practice tomorrow and see if i'm in or not on saturday and then same thing have a good game or, or not if i'm not in and then uh, just keep going day by day what's your focus on face-offs because that can sometimes be tricky for young guys you seem pretty comfortable to talk today like how are you feeling on face-offs yeah honestly uh manny malholtra talk to him kind of every morning skate every chance i get try to get a tip or two from him uh which has been super insightful helpful um talks about just getting really low uh, strong guy use my leverage and just try to sweep the dot as quick and like with as much pressure as i can and it's been been doing okay so far i mean there's you know always some good and some bad i think you know at times it was a little bit sloppy and I thought that third period, uh, you know, we really just dialed it in and, um, you know, we're rolling four lines, playing playing aggressive but playing smart. And, um, you know, I think the third period there is kind of, um, you know, the way we'd like to continue to play and kind of hone in on uh, the good things that we did there. A lot of young players get attention to the flashy things, but how impressive is Fraser Mendy with the little kind of details that he does so well? Yeah, he's just really solid all around and, you know, very smart player. Um, I think him and Nizy feed off each other really well, and it's been really cool to see just that chemistry grow. And you know, they've both been playing you know really great here in the preseason. So um, it's fun to watch, and um, you know, you just want him to continue to to push, continue to get better. And I mean, he's going to be. He's got a he's got a great motor, and he's a great kid, and uh, he works extremely hard. And like I said, he's just uh, got a brilliant brain. I think every, you know, each game, um, you know, even practices, each day it's just been getting better and, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time, but, um, you know, I think we're starting to get a feel for, for each other out there and, um, you know, starting to kind of create more offense and have extended you know, offensive zone shifts where, you know, we're really working the puck down low and wearing on their team.
how much electricity is being generated on the PK when you can throw as many talented guys as you guys can all else and add Willie to that tonight? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, um, you know, obviously the object is just to keep the puck out of your net, but, um, you know, I got some smart guys out there, some guys with some really good sticks, good anticipation, and, um, you know, able to kind of pick pucks off and uh, kind of attack when, when necessary, when there's space. And, um, you know, I think it's just that, going to be that happy medium of um, knowing when to, you know, attack and knowing when to just put the puck in deep and uh, live to fight another day, so. And you put the other team on, their, on edge, obviously. They're looking over their shoulder all the time when guys like you are up there. Yeah, I mean, like I said a couple of weeks ago, it's uh, I think it's always a challenge, and I think you kind of got your antenna up a little bit more, especially when you got um, you know other teams' top players out there. So um, you know, I just got to keep uh, you know pushing. Um, you know, I find I'm you know maybe thinking a little bit out there on the penalty kill just because it's not completely uh, natural. But um, you know, I think each game it's gone better and better, and um, you know it's been fun for me. So I've been having uh, having a blast doing it. Done tonight, but things do still. Think the team needs to work on the next few days. Well, I think we just need to continue to refine our game. Every area needs to get better. You know, you see how see how it is once you <clears throat> once you flip into next week. You know, when our group is here and regular season's right there. So, um, in terms of this game here tonight, I, I thought that our third period was probably our best period of the preseason. So, you know, you're talking about getting better as you go. And, you know, for a lot of our guys, this will be their last game tonight. So uh, for the third period to go the way that it did, I'm, I'm happy with that. What did you see in Mitten tonight, Shilbert? Uh, he was good, just like he's been. He was played smart. Uh, you know, he competed. He had good good pace, good speed on the puck. You know, he did, did well on face-offs. Uh, probably better than he's done in some other games, actually. And, uh, you know, he, he did a good job. Tough challenge tonight, but when there's a, more of a AHL roster or a, with prospects, how, how tough is it from your side to to evaluate a, a young player who wants to crack the, the league? Yeah, it's harder. It's harder for sure. I mean, the preseason in general is it's hard, right? You, but but it's what you have, so you gotta you gotta be able to sort through it. Um, you know, the thing with with Fraser, he really hasn't taken a step back in any at any time. That's really what you're looking for with with young guys. So you know, we'll continue to to look at him. He'll be back in. Uh, on Saturday, and uh, you know we'll just continue to, to work through it. Not just with him, there's a number of other guys competing for spots as well. They'll, they'll all get their chance to go back in on Saturday, and you know make the decisions. How do you feel Bertuzzi's fitting in with uh, Matthews and Marner? Tonight? I thought today was his best game. Uh, so not just because of the goal, but I just thought that he had a little more pace, and and I thought that uh, that line was a little more connected, especially as the game went on. That third period again was our best period, and then best period for that line. So again, that's that's encouraging. Austin talked about a happy medium. He called it when he plays on PK and Willie on PK between their offensive instincts versus what they have to learn on PK. Do you find that they're finding that's working? Yeah, out? I, I thought today that uh, you know I thought that the, the penalty kill and with those guys in, in general was uh, probably the best that it's been. Um, we, made, we made a mistake on the one on the one goal. You know, Yarny had. Uh, you know, Mark Yarny misses assignment there. He looked like a guy that hasn't played preseason. He, I don't know if he made that mistake once all, all last season at all. But but uh, aside from that, I thought we did a good job in the penalty kill, and we got some good chances. Those guys had some jump. Uh, but also, I thought they you know they kept their shift short. They got off at the right times. I thought we had good flow. We, we, we used I think we used at least eight, eight penalty killers at different times tonight, and and I like that. Um, you know, I think we'll we'll look to continue with that. It's getting more people involved and, and all of that as we try to find our rhythm as we get into regular season. But uh, it was it was good reps for those guys here today. It's you know it's not NHL caliber power plays, power play that they're going up against. But again, we can only take what we have in front of us, and they did they did a good job tonight. What do you think of Ryan Reeves' camp? I think it's been great. Uh, I've I've been really happy with him all the way through. Uh, learned a lot about his game and him as a pro. Uh, to me, he's been. He's been very solid in doing his job in every game. Puck comes to him, he advances it. Uh, makes very, very few, if any, uh, mistakes defensively. He's in good spots. He pays attention to it. You can see why he's played in the league a long time. Not just, not just because of the toughness and the intangibles he brings. Um, his overall game is is very efficient. And uh, no matter who we've played him with, that line a lot of nights is has been one of our best lines. 
And I think a lot of that is just because they're just out there playing. They're not trying to do anything or be anything that they're not. He knows exactly what keeps him in the league. And uh, I think he's done a really good job of showing that here early. What did you make of Samsonov's performance in the title? Uh, sorry? Ilya. Samsonov in... What did you make of his performance? Oh, um, he didn't get tested a lot. You know, um, but but uh, there's some things there. You know, we want to get him to tighten up on for sure. How unusual to see Justin Hall in another uniform? Yeah, tough. I've seen him in I've seen him in blue and white. You know, for for a lot of years now between Marley's and here, but but uh, you know, Justin was a really good player for for us and for me specifically. Marley's won a championship with him and and gave us a lot of good years and minutes here, and uh, you know, I'm happy to see him. Get paid.